All right, hey, welcome to Bee's Kitchen. So uh, it's been a little while since I've made anything, any type of cooking video or what have you. So I'm gonna be making some homemade mashed potatoes. I'm gonna be doing a, uh, a fresh cod with a uh, little bit of lemon, some butter, a little bit of garlic, uh, garlic and herbs, and a uh, nice Ritz and oyster cracker or saltines, uh, whatever you want to use, herbed breadcrumb with uh, a little bit of uh, aged parmesan. All right, so I made this earlier. I crushed it all up. I put the parmesan in. Uh, don't buy the pre-mixed stuff because there's no reason to buy a pre-mixed breadcrumb. It's uh, ridiculous. You make it yourself. It's much cheaper. All right, so I'm going to cut these up. I'm going to get them in the water, get them ready and um, I'll show you how to make it after. But, uh, you know, I just wanted to represent the Fear Factory tattoo that I got when I was 18, because I was a knucklehead. But I never got it removed, I got it filled in. But, uh, you know, I guess Fear Factory, uh, they're working on fixing their album that uh, had some pre-programmed drums and some uh, programmed synths and stuff like that and they were a huge influence on me when I was growing up as far as being a guitar player so uh, you know when I was 18 I did get the uh, Fear Factory tattoo and uh, I get picked on every day for it whenever somebody sees it and I don't care so anyway so we got the uh, potatoes going on. We're just gonna cut them up. We don't need to do a real fine dice here because we're gonna be mashing them anyway. Hold on one sec. Other one. Okay. All right. I guess the uh, lighting was a little too uh, too dramatic there. But anyway, so we're just going to do a regular uh, cut here. You know, some of the bigger pieces. We'll just cut them up. But it doesn't have to be pretty because they're going to be mashed anyway. So. And I know all those uh, cooks out there that are going to be watching this. Probably like, your knife skills are terrible. And you are right. And that's why I don't get paid to cook, so. But that doesn't mean I don't know how to cook. My knife skills are just incredibly sloppy. And I'll get better with age, I guess. Maybe by the time I'm 60. Right, Ava? Yeah. Maybe not when you're 60, though. No. Probably younger than that. Maybe I should speed it up, huh? Or when I cut a finger off. You got nibbles in here. Well, she must smell the fish. Maybe. I'm surprised Thelma's not in here. Oh, she's already been sniffing around. Wait until it's done. <laughs> They're gonna be ravenous. Maybe even Johnny or Abby, or no? Nah, Abby might sniff around a little bit, but she's not a big people food cat. She's Thanks not a big people cat either. No. <laughs> no. She's a basement dweller. Yeah. There's potatoes stuck to the knife. Yeah. It's my sloppy knife skills here. That's all right. I've never really cut anything, so I don't know how my knife skills are. Well, it's tough. Just make sure you don't cut your fingers off. Yeah. When you're doing something a little bit more involved, then you, you know, you have to be a little bit more neat with your knife skills. But when you're making mashed potatoes, it doesn't matter what they look like. No, because they're just going to get cut up anyway and mashed, mashed all together. Up. Yeah. All right. Just about done with those potatoes. Mm-hmm. I need a couple. 
couple left. potatoes left. Gonna be a lot of potatoes here. Yeah. That's that's a lot of potatoes. They yeah. cover the whole chopping board or cutting board. Sorry, everybody likes mashed potatoes, right? Yeah. And just in case anybody wanted to know, these are uh, russet potatoes. You're going to cut through the piece that stuck to the knife. Alright, so, get all our potatoes. Hold on a minute. Make sure we salt the water. Now, with potatoes, you don't have to put them in when the water's boiling. You can put them in before. Because they're going to take a while anyway. It's not like pasta where the water has to be boiling. Be careful though, because the water does splash. Yep. All right, so now now what we're gonna do is we got our lemon. There's a little bit of skin and fat and stuff left. That's okay. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to do a little bit of... Garlic powder? Garlic salt. I like the Lowry's, Lowry's brand, rather. So now we're going to get this fish seasoned. Using my clean hand. Is that butter or spray in the pan? It's butter. So what are we going to do with the breadcrumbs? The breadcrumbs? We're yes. Gonna, we're going to put a nice breadcrumb coating on it. I'll show you in a second, okay? Right, so now that our fish is seasoned, now I'm going to come over here and get rid of this. This is 
very important. Wash your hands. So now what we're going to do we have this nice melted butter. And what we're going to do is we're going to brush that on. First, we're going to hit it with a little bit of that lemon juice. And a little bit of black pepper. Butter. I'm just gonna get that on there. I'm not touching the fish with the brush though. It's kind of like using the brush as like a spoon to drizzle over the fish. Yep. Parmesan cheese. Cheesy breadcrumbs. Make sure we just kind of coat it evenly in it. This is going to brown up nice in the oven anyway. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take that butter and drizzle it some more. Drizzle it some more. It soaks right into the crackers. <laughs> 